Georgia Senate District number five is in Gwinnett County, stretching from the DeKalb County line all the way up through Lawrenceville along I-85. And it's one of the most ethnically diverse legislative districts in America. I came to the United States in 1981. Sheikh Rahman grew up in Bangladesh, moved to the U.S., and says he learned some rough lessons about being an immigrant. Top of the you know, height of the Iran hostage crisis. You know, I was in New North Carolina. Somebody threw me a beer can and said, hey, raghead, go home. You know, I was in even you know, Middle Eastern. When he ran for the state Senate this year, he did so in a district that's home to immigrants from everywhere in the world, though very few of them are from Bangladesh. Rahman says it turned out that detail didn't matter. And I thought we can stay on the sideline as an immigrant and as a regular folks, we should have a voice and we should participate. That was my message. Um, it's Bernie Sanders. Rahman has been active in the Georgia Democratic Party for years, attending two national conventions as a delegate. Did Biden uh, raise money for you? Not really. It this gave him a foundation to run for the Senate, and he unseated a 14-year veteran. You know, and he did work hard. Um, Senator Kurt Thompson you know, is the Democrat uh, Ramon beat in the primary it, by more um, than two to one. You know, he worked hard, and, and I think the district had changed demographically. I mean, his slogan was, it's our time now. And when that's your slogan in a Democratic primary, that has meaning behind it. And I'm a little different than everybody else, and I can bring maybe both parties together, you know, you are black, white, brown, whatever it is, and that's my mission, that's what I'm going to try to do. Ramon says he will be sweating another election in a few days when his younger brother vies for a seat in the parliament of Bangladesh. In Gwinnett County, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.